Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your man, 21, truck driver to the stars, and I'm back once again, guys, with another epic, legendary type video. So let's talk about it, all right? You want to team drive. You and your buddy, you and your girl, you and some random person you met at the truck driving school, y'all want to team drive. Let's talk about some of the questions you should ask them. All right, what up y'all? It's your man, 21, truck driver to the stars. Now let's talk about team driving today. Now I know a lot of y'all want to team drive. Now uh, some of the benefits of team driving, well, let's talk about money, hello. We're gonna make so much more money because we're team driving. That truck is moving 24 hours a day. That truck never had to stop moving. So we're gonna make a lot of money, right? Team driving. But there's a few things that we need to talk about before we decide to team drive, whether it's your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or just some random person, all right? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, some of the things we wanna talk about, all right? The first thing is you guys need to, you, let's say it's your truck and your friend or your partner is gonna get on your truck. You need to talk to them, or even if it's vice versa, if you're gonna get on someone else's truck, you need to talk about a lot of the arrangements, okay? One of the arrangements you need to talk about is money, first of all. So first, it's a very important thing. How much money do I need to pay you to drive my truck? Okay. If someone's fresh out of trucking school, you shouldn't be giving them $1,800 a week to drive your truck. All right. They may be making more than what you're making. I'm not going to tell you what you should pay someone, but giving someone $1,800 a week to drive your truck is absolutely ridiculous. Don't do that, guys. They're fresh out of truck driving school. Think of someone getting out of truck driving school as like someone uh, just graduating college with their four-year degree. Okay. Um, <clears throat> No job is gonna bring them in making you know a hundred thousand dollars a year because they're greener than shit. They have no experience. It's the same thing with truck driving. Why would you pay someone a ton of money to drive your truck when they have little to no experience? Okay, so that's one of the first things you need to talk about. How much money do you uh, want to or are you looking to get paid? Or right, this is what I'm willing to pay you. Okay, you guys need to have it understood from the minute you guys even start talking about team driving, all right? Um, <clears throat> one of the other things you should talk to them about is accidents. If, we ha if I have an accident driving your truck, how does this work? Or are you gonna uh, require me to take the um, 500 or $1,000 out of my money and pay the deductible for the accident? Okay, or since it's your truck, are you going to take care if we have an accident? Are you going to pay that out of your money, even if I was a driver, even if it was on my drive ship, okay, or my drive clock? That's something that you want to ask the person, okay, because you don't want to have an accident in someone's truck and then they don't pay you next week your thousand dollars or your whatever you make. They don't pay you because they took your money. You're going to be upset. It's going to cause a lot of problems in that truck, okay. Uh, oh, by the way, happy 4th to y'all. I forgot to mention that. Happy 4th, everybody. Look, I got on my 4th of July shirt. You can't see it. Let me see if I can stand up where you can see it. Uh, yeah, look, I got the flag. That's my 4th of July shirt. So yeah, happy 4th. I'm trying to be uh, American patriotic, okay? Um, <clears throat> a couple other things I ask a person. Fuel, how does fueling work? Um, or it, it, are you gonna take care of fuel or are you going to um, want to deduct like two, three hundred bucks out of my pay every week for fuel? So you want to ask them, are you going to take care of the fuel yourself on your truck? OK, um, also some of my veteran drivers, if you all think of something that I that I don't cover in this video, leave it down below, down, 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 down below. Leave it in the comments uh, down below. Uh, that way these uh, new people or not even new, even old people, they know some of the questions to ask when they're going to team drive. Uh, ask about freight claims. Let's say you get to a customer and, you're, and you guys dump the freight in the back of the trailer. Ask them, are you gonna expect me to pay the deductible for the freight if I was the one that took it in? Or are you gonna pay it or are we gonna do half and half since we both drove the truck? We can't really pinpoint who dumped the freight, okay? Um, overweight tickets. That's another thing you wanna ask them. If we get an overweight ticket, if, if, if the person whose truck it is picked up the freight 
and then you start driving, okay, on your drive ship and you get pulled over, um, <clears throat> excuse me guys, I'm sorry, I think I'm getting sick. You get pulled over um, about 20 minutes after you start driving and get a ticket, who's responsible for the ticket? Are you responsible because it was on your drive ship or the person's truck it is or the person who picked up the freight? Now me personally, when it comes to overweight tickets, even if I didn't pick up the load and I started driving, and you know you guys just picked this load up, you should be checking your weight before you start driving. That's a part of doing your pre-trip, okay? You should be uh, looking at your gauges. If you don't have gauges in your truck and on your trailer, you should be asking the person, where was the weight at? Do you have a weight ticket? If they don't have those things, things to produce to you, then you may wanna go get the truck and trailer weighed yourself to make sure you're not gonna be overweight, all right? That's very important, okay? These are just some things that you guys need to ask. Maintenance, uh, all those things. You guys need to find out when you're team driving, get all this information because you don't want to run into a situation where the person whose truck it is are trying to take your money or if it's your truck, you don't want to take your co-driver's money and now they're upset with you, okay? Now let's talk about some of the etiquette when you're team driving and this etiquette this etiquette goes both ways meaning if you're going to team drive with someone or if you're a student and you're about to go out to a truck driving school okay there are certain things it's just great etiquette when you're on a truck with someone else all right um one of those things are when the person's back there sleeping and you're on the phone don't don't be on the phone loud as fuck while the person's trying to sleep respect them because you don't want them to do it to you so don't do it to them okay uh slamming doors if you guys stop at a uh, if you stop at a truck stop or you stop somewhere to go hit the head sorry use the bathroom and you damn okay oh uh, shit all right don't worry about what i'm looking at i'm looking outside at the sun don't worry about that um you stop somewhere and to hit the head and everything like that don't just slam doors all loud and or slam doors all hard to make it all loud because of your co-drivers trying to get some sleep, okay? Be respectful. When you guys get ready to switch shifts, okay? You know that you're gonna stop driving at, at you know, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. Your co-driver's gonna take over. When you stop driving, you do your, uh, your 10 minutes of on duty. While you're doing your 10 minutes of on duty, clean the truck up, right? Clean all your stuff up. Get everything out of the way that you need it for your dry shift. That way, when your co-driver come up, it's a clean working space for them. All right. Uh, keep the truck clean, guys. When your co when your team driving with someone, it's very easy for that truck to get dirty. Okay. Keep the truck clean. You don't want to have one co-driver that's clean, one co-driver that's dirty. You guys aren't gonna mix and match. Okay that's gonna break down really freaking quickly, all right? Keep the truck clean. Um, you don't, you know, if, if, if you if it's two girls or a girl and a guy, you know, ladies don't leave your underwear laying around, your bras, you know, falling on the bed or falling on the floor, don't do that. It's disrespectful, okay? Even if you like that, 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 that guy you teaming with and you trying to give him some hints, don't give him hints while letting you leave your thongs laying on the floor. Don't do it. It is not cool at all. Okay. Um, same way for you guys. Um, if you into that woman, you know, don't let, don't leave your boxers laying on the floor. If you sleep on the top bunk, don't drop your boxers down on her bed. Like, oh, sorry, it just fell down. No, keep the space clean. Okay, guys. Um, those are some of the things when it comes to teen driving. I mean, one of the big, big things. You guys have to be clean. You have to be respectful to your co-driver who's sleeping. Uh, when you're breaking, break early on. That way you don't get right on top of something. You're breaking hard and you're about to throw the person out of the bed. Not cool at all, all right? So those are some of the things you guys want to think about. And you really, you when, when you go to team drive with someone, you really need to know who you're team driving with, okay? Um, I tell a lot of people, you probably don't want to team drive with any of my old students. And it's not a knock on my students at all. The reason I say that, and I even tell my students that, because the way I train my students, first of all, my truck is super clean, it smells good, uh, we are super respectful, um, 
my students come off my truck and just the, 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 the atmosphere and the environment that I create for my students, they learn really well. They really know their shit. So I've had two of my students go out and try to team drive with people. And actually three of my students try to go out and team drive with people and it didn't work because they had called me and they're like, this person isn't clean or this person doesn't know what they're doing or this or that or whatever, okay? So know who you're about to team drive with because everyone that you're gonna try to team drive with, I hate to tell you guys, but everyone isn't clean. You may be super clean, but the other person may not be clean. It may be smelly. They, um, you may be, it may be a person that likes to run. You close that, that door, you keep your ass in that seat, and you wanna run hard. You wanna do a good five, six hours straight. And the other person may need to stop at every truck stop. Ask questions, ask everything. People say, well, I don't wanna offend them. Well, damn, this is time to offend someone. I read, I'd rather offend you now and know that, hey, you and I, this isn't gonna work on us team driving than trying to be all nice to you and coddle you. And then I go team drive with you and now I'm afraid to ask you questions. Fuck you. I wanna offend you early on. Let's get you offended right now so you know, hey, you're an asshole, but I like you being an asshole, okay? Uh, so guys, those are some of the things that you want to consider before you team drive. And if you are male, female or female, female, uh, but especially male, female team, you have to make sure that the other person isn't secretly trying to, trying to team with you because they want to hook up with you or they're secretly, secretly trying to team with you because they really want to holler at you or just, you know, they want to like, they you know, secretly want to, you know, sleep with you because that's not going to work. Because if, 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 you're, if your mentality, your attitude is, um, I want to team drive, I want to make some money. And that other person is like, well, I want to team drive, but I also want to like do some stuff with you on the side. And that's not where you're at. Boom. Y'all ain't going to work at all. Okay. So that was just a little video, guys, about team driving. Happy 4th to you guys. If you're out there rolling, please drive safe. Uh, if you're doing an overnight shift, as you guys know, it's gonna be drunks on the road. So just watch out for the drunks. Uh, if you're at home, doing your home time, like myself on the 4th, happy 4th, all right? Uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please, guys, give me a thumbs up. The only how we're gonna get this these videos pushed out to where we uh, get discovered by other people is by you guys doing your part and helping me by giving me those thumbs up, okay? Uh, if it's your first time here, my name is uh, 21, truck driver to the stars. Um, I'm an all around cool motherfucker. That's what I like to say. I'm just a cool motherfucker. I'm an American gladiator, okay? So if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that sub, uh, hit the sub button, hit that little bell so I can vibrate in your pocket when I upload uh, uh, more videos and new content. And uh, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Let me get a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, let me get a thumbs up, please. Thank you. Um, so, fellas, quit fucking around on this road. Quit cheating on your girls. When y'all get home, take your girls out somewhere nice and special. All right? It's your man, 21, truck driver to the stars, a.k.a. the flyest truck driver on YouTube, a.k.a. a cool motherfucker, a.k.a. the coolest guy you know, a.k.a. whatever else you want the a.k.a. to be, leave it down below in the comment section. All right? It's your man, 21, and I'll check y'all out on the next one. Peace.